I'm Carlton. And I'm Steph. In October of last year, we visited Japan for the first time. We visited Tokyo, Hakone, Osaka, Yokohama, and more. Stay tuned for a multi part video series documenting our trip to the other side of the world. The final stop during our 10 day trip in Japan was Yokohama. After a quick ride on the Shinkansen bullet trains, we arrived at Yokohama, which is a modern city just outside of Tokyo. To get from the train station to our hotel, we got tickets for the Yokohama Air Cabin, which offers great views of the city. We stayed at the Intercontinental Pier 8 for one night. This Intercontinental Hotel was situated in a very nice area surrounded by water views. The staff at the hotel was also very hospitable. Hi. Uh, last name is Marshall. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Little courtyard. That's right. That's just fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So here's a room tour of the Intercontinental Pier 8 Hotel in Yokohama. So this is not to be confused with the other Intercontinental Hotel, which is kind of around the corner. It's a little bit older, um, but this hotel is newer. Uh, from my understanding, you know, they kind of closed down during COVID. So it's pretty much like a brand new hotel, you know, with some water views. So here's just a quick tour of the room. As you can see, this hotel you know, is, is brand new. It's one of the more luxurious hotels we stayed at. So they have you know, the bathroom here with you know, complimentary soaps and shampoos and things. Here's the bathroom area with the tub, uh, with the walk-in shower. And that piece of glass right there actually fogs up. There's a button you can click and it kind of fogs up for extra privacy. So here's the bed. I'm not sure if it's a king or queen, but it's definitely you know, big enough. I think this is also, you know, one of the more upgraded rooms. It has more of a harbor view, so you can see right on, right out onto the water here. So, great, great views from this hotel, uh, especially this room here. So you can see, you know, all the ships and stuff in, in the harbor. There's kind of a sitting area there, uh, TV, you know, smart TV with different features, and here's, uh, you know, the bathroom toilet area. So again, you know, there's a common theme here. All of the uh, toilets in Japan were just, you know, extremely nice with heated seats, bidets, you know, even an extra sink right in this, you know, little area right here. That was definitely a treat, you know, to uh, experience, you know, the nicer toilets in Japan. You know, that was the first time I experienced those. They don't really have those uh, back in the States, you know, as far as I've experienced. So here's just a demo of the glass kind of fogging up in the hotel room. So that was just a pretty cool, you know, piece of technology. So that's pretty much the room tour. Um, there is a snack closet here, uh, you know, with some complimentary uh, coffee and tea. 
as well as some additional drinks uh, that you can purchase, you know, for an extra fee, you know, if you want those. But again, this is the Intercontinental Pier 8 Hotel in Yokohama, not far from Tokyo, Japan. After getting lunch nearby, we walked around as the sun set and stumbled upon an amusement park. This amusement park called Yokohama Cosmo World was very unique in that it was in the middle of a city landscape. We rode the Ferris wheel, a roller coaster, and a few other thrilling rides. Watch your step. After the amusement park, we got pizza at a restaurant near our hotel and stopped at 7 Eleven to pick up some dessert. <laughs> The next morning, we had the hotel's continental breakfast and explored the Yokohama area on the trusty loop scooters. After wandering around the area some, it was time to make our way to the airport. For the most part, we heavily utilized Japan's train system to get around. This time though, we had our hotel call us a taxi to Haneda Airport. Japanese taxis are extremely clean and comfortable, but can also be pricey. When we reached the airport, we checked in one packable duffel bag, which contained all of our souvenirs from the trip. Not before long, it was time to board our flight bound for the United States. On our return flight, we again opted to upgrade to premium plus seats to be more comfortable on the 14 hour flight. For airplane food, the meals were again pretty decent and the flight attendants always offered more water and snacks. We were 
definitely sad to leave Japan after having such a great first experience there, but we were happy to have shared so many new experiences with each other. We hope to visit Japan again soon.